Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 of x cubed minus x to the 7th power divided by 2 minus x cubed multiplied by cosine of x squared all divided by sine of x to the 11th power. Now we can't just evaluate the limit at x is equal to 0 as sine of 0 is equal to 0 and we would then be dividing by 0 which is not allowed. Now, one could go ahead and use a L'Hopital's rule, but it would be a lot of work. So let's go down a different route and let's rewrite cosine of x squared and sine of x to the 11th power using Taylor series. So we can write cosine of x as 1 minus x squared divided by 2 factorial plus x to the 4th power divided by 4 factorial plus O of x to the 6th power. All this notation here means is that all of the remaining terms have powers of x that are at least 6. Now we have cosine of x squared in the numerator, so what we're going to do is we're going to insert x squared into everywhere here that we have x. So we have cosine of x squared is equal to 1 minus x to the 4th power divided by 2 factorial plus x to the 8th power divided by 4 factorial plus o of x to the 12th power. Now we can rewrite sine of x as the following, x minus x cubed divided by 3 factorial plus x to the 5th power divided by 5 factorial plus o of x to the 7th power. Now we have sine of x to the 11th power, so wherever we see x we're going to insert x to the 11th power. So sine of x to the 11th power is equal to x to the 11th power minus x raised to 33 divided by 3 factorial plus x raised to 55 divided by 5 factorial plus o of x to the 77th power. Now let's take these two expressions and substitute them into our limit right here for cosine of x squared and sine of x to the 11th power. So this is equal to the limit is x goes to 0 of x to the 3rd power minus x to the 7th power divided by 2 minus x cubed multiplied by 1 minus x to the 4th power divided by 2 factorial plus x to the 8th power divided by 4 factorial plus o of x to the 12th power divided by x to the 11th power minus x raised to 33 divided by 3 factorial plus x raised to 55 divided by 5 factorial plus o of x to the 77th power. Now we can tidy this up a little bit. Let's distribute this minus x cubed to everything inside the brackets here. We have the limit is x goes to 0 of x cubed minus x to the 7th power divided by 2 minus x cubed plus x to the 7th power divided by 2 factorial minus x to the 11th power divided by 4 factorial plus o of x to the 15th power divided by x to the 11th power minus x to the 33rd power divided by 3 factorial plus x to the 55th power divided by 5 factorial plus o of x to the 77th power. Now x cubed minus x cubed just gives us 0. Minus x to the 7th power divided by 2 plus x to the 7th power divided by 2 factorial just gives us 0 because 2 factorial is just 2. So we're just left with minus x to the 11th power divided by 4 factorial plus o of x to the 15th power in the numerator. Now let's divide everything in this expression by x to the 11th power. Doing so we have the limit is x goes to 0 of minus 1 over 4 factorial plus o of x to the 4th power divided by 1 minus x to the 22nd power divided by 3 factorial plus x to the 44th power divided by 5 factorial plus o of x to the 66th power. Now if we just let x tend to 0, everything here goes to 0 and this goes to 0. So we're just left with minus 1 over 4 factorial which is equal to minus 1 over 24. And that is the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. If you did, please make sure to check out some of my other videos on limits. I hope you have a great day.